Are you guys picking up on anything like any any certain spot? To be honest. Yeah. I was sitting on that table. He was moving this bookshelf right here. And when Josh walked past, he didn't know where I was at. He came and asked me what the little boy looked like, what he had on, and he walked me right to that spot. So. But he, is he like playful, like moving? He was not a little kid. It's not? I think he's a teenager. Well, he was, I, I think assumed. He's like 11 between. Because he was hiding. Or, I'm sorry, the light would be blocked from like this shelf. So, I don't know, you know how tall he was here. See, I think he's about this tall. So, okay, when? Oh, okay. That was that spot. So, I mean, this is his stuff. And it was like a vicious type thing. So, is this not, this is not a little boy that we're dealing with here? Well, I don't think it's not an old person. I would say between like 12. So oh, teenager. 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 So it's still a boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. To me, that's a new boy. It is me, too. Talking about honey. But, I mean, mean, when I would ask, I mean, it was the whole thing would like. Is it, it sort of sounds like the same thing as the door. I mean, you know, the little rattle thing. Well, well I tried to call well, Shelby and tell her to come down here. <laughs> well, maybe, how about you sit on this side and I'll sit on this side. That okay. Way. We know you're here with us. Can you do something but let us know that you are here? If you can make the bookshelf shake, you can make this meter go off. Are you a boy? Are you a girl? Did you die here? We have people here that can sense you and know you're here. If you're 12 years old, can you make the light flash to say, to answer yes for us? Are you 13? I'm hard time. I, I really feel like, I mean, I just thought I got the, I, I feel like there's something here. on me. Yeah. Are you around me? Can you make the lights light up, please? Thank you. This KT meter works off DC field, so I mean, there's no way that the camera or anything is making it go off. I think it's just playing with this. Shelby and them thinks it's a teenage boy. He might not even know that. He deceased. Is your last chance to talk to us or show yourself? Show yourself. I got a, I got three lights going off. Four. Is that you? Yeah. You want us to stay down here with you? Is it going off? Mm -hmm. Constant. Are you a boy? Show yourself. Talk to us. Yeah, you're doing good. Make it go all the way up. Turn all the lights on. You're getting close. Turn them all on. Wow. Oh my gosh. Make sure that comes to that one But I fought through here with it. Don't leave. He wants us to stay for me. Are you a boy? Make it go to the red if you're a boy. Come are you, on. Are you a girl? Oh, he's trying. Make it go on you're up. You're doing really good job. Good job. Come on. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. Go to the red. Show us that you're a boy. Are you a girl? Boy? Boy. You're a boy. Awesome. Thank you. Great. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. We're wrapping up our investigation here at UVA Wise. We'll go home, go over the evidence, and show you guys what we get, if anything. 
We've come home and gone over the evidence from UVA wise. We investigated Zemer Hall and the library on campus. It was a pretty quiet night for us, wasn't it, Gary? Yeah, it's pretty quiet. There's not a lot going on in Zimmer Hall. Uh, we did have more activity in the library. Yeah, which you'll see on the video, um, we had EVPs like crazy. Our sensitives went in, as you see on the video, they did pick up on a little boy. All three of them actually did. It was um, Josh, Shelby, and Hope. Hope actually experienced uh, one of the bookshelves shaking. Um, she was down there by herself, and nobody else was around, but she did capture that on video. We're hoping to get that to you guys. And uh, also, I saw the, the door, one of the exit doors in the library was shaking. We tried to debunk that. I went around. We felt um, it would do it for a good, I'm going to say like five minutes. And then sometimes it would, it would stop. And then, you know, we'd leave, come back to the building. It wouldn't be doing it. And it'd start doing it. We're not sure. We tried to debunk it as best as we could. We didn't see any liable reason for it to be doing that. We even went on the outside of the door. And from the outside of the door, you could nothing was going on at all. And we had one of our sensitives, Josh, inside. And he said, well, the whole time we was out there, the handle was shaking. It's almost like somebody was trying to get out of the building and it, they couldn't. And also on this door, it has a security alarm. So I know you see me in the video trying to shake it and no, no, no. <laughs> but um, like, we'll be back here on campus actually in October, Gary. Um, I think in October we're going to be at Curry Hall. With all the um, history of the land, like I talked about in the video, uh, poor form, it, there's just so much history. And if we could find out about this EVP and about um, the entity in it, that I would, I would love personally to go help this person. I enjoyed this case tonight. I, I'm looking forward to going back. Uh, right now, Holly's going to tell you a little bit about what's been going on with Black Mountain Paranormal Society. We do have a few more members. Holly, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, we have two new members on the team. One's a sensitive, Shelby Roberts. We're glad to have her aboard with us. We do have officially two sensitives on our team. We have uh, one that comes in. Her name's Barbara. She helps us on certain cases. And um, we love them to death. <laughs> but um, also we have a fill-in, Brandon Mullins. We'd like to welcome him to the team. Welcome to the team, Brandon. In July, we did have a hot dog sale, and we done pretty good off of it, and we've decided to do another one because we are non-funded, and everything that we do is on our own, and um, all of our cases that we do are free of charge because we're there to help people, and um, so look out for us. We'll probably be in front of Foodland and Pound, Virginia, um, probably about October the 1st or the 3rd, either one. And um, also, we do have decals for sale. I know you guys probably seen them. I've posted them on our Facebook. They are $6 a piece, which is not bad at all. And uh, they are well made. Peanut, you do us good. <laughs> Peanut's the man. Yeah. And we are we are currently working on keychains also. And they'll probably be like $2 a piece. I'll let you know in the future. But we'll have them together here in the next couple of weeks. Thanks, Holly. I uh, hope, hope you guys enjoyed tonight's episode. Stick around. We'll have a lot more to come. Never